A nose spray filled with water. It can be very useful for macro photography. This is one of the items I have in my macro photography kit for 2023, which I'm gonna go through in this video. And I've made videos about each and every item before, so you can check those out. I have linked all of them in the description. And uh, without further ado, let's go through my favorite macro photography gear for the new year. Let's begin with the camera, which I think is maybe the least important item. Not that you don't need a camera, but rather that it doesn't matter that much what camera you're using for macro photography. I love this camera, it's the Sony a7 IV, full frame camera by Sony. I love it because I've been using Sony full frame cameras for as long as I've done photography and it has a nice grip, it has a very high dynamic range which is great for macro photography because you often need to adjust the exposure afterwards and um, yeah I just love this camera and it's also great for video. And the main macro lens that I'm using on this camera is the Laowa 85mm. And this lens is so great because it is probably the smallest macro lens available for full frame cameras. And still it goes all the way from infinity focus to two times magnification, which is pretty uncommon among macro lenses. So I love this lens because it is so small so convenient to use on the camera and in macro photography I find that when doing freehand outdoors in nature it is such a nice feeling to have a lightweight lens on a lightweight camera with a lightweight flash. It really makes everything easier especially when you're trying to photograph insects that are running around. So the reason this lens can be this small is that the max aperture is 5.6. But that doesn't matter that much because in macro photography you want to use small apertures anyway to get some depth of field. So that's not really an issue at all for me. Item number three is my second macro lens and that is the Laowa 25mm. Which is also a very small and compact and lightweight macro lens. And this one I use when I want to get really really close because this one goes from 2.5 times magnification all the way to 5 times magnification, which is plenty and it's very unusual actually that I go all the way to 5 times magnification. But it's nice to have a lens like this when you want to get really close without using any extension tubes or uh, extra magnification filters or anything like that. In macro photography it's important to have a good flash and my favorite flash as of the last few years is the Mikey MK320. On my Sony cameras it has been very reliable and with good batteries which I'm going to talk about in a second I find that this flash is great. I can take many many shots very very fast without missing any shots without it not firing or anything like that it is very reliable uh, at least this particular unit on my sony a7 IV camera and another reason i love this flash is that it is so small and lightweight so it's very low profile and when i put it on my camera oops i turned on the lead here <laughs> when i put it on my camera you can see that the flash is very low which is pretty unusual uh, on the speed lights uh, for cameras and this is great because it gets closer to the lens so uh, i can uh, easier get the light to reach the subject so what about flash batteries i have a favorite and that is the gp recycle pro photo flash batteries I discovered this like a year ago and they are incredibly good. You can really tell the difference between uh, normal batteries and these batteries because they are optimized for photography flashes. And these GP photo flash batteries combined with the Mikey MK320 has worked so well for me. Uh, for me it is the perfect flash solution for macro photography. It's very reliable, I never miss a shot, and uh, it's lightweight and small, and I love it. Sometimes though, I need to use an external flash, and that is when I use the Godox TT685. I think this one probably has an updated version these days. By the way, I'm linking all these products in the video description, in case you want to check them out. 
Uh, this flash, I've been using it for many years, it is very reliable and I have this um, transmitter unit here, uh, which also works great. Only thing you need to remember when doing macro photography is that you need to hold in the test button when you turn it on, because then it activates like close proximity mode and it will be much more reliable for macro photography that way. If you don't activate this, it will be quite unreliable on short distances. Anyways, I use this flash a lot, it's very powerful and it's reliable and it's cheap as well, very good value for money. But as you might know, to get good results in macro photography you must have some kind of diffuser. And on this particular flash, uh, when I'm using it externally, I use this plastic lamp dome that I found in a hardware store. And uh, it happens just luckily to fit very well on the Goldux TT685. Uh, so it's a great solution to get nice diffusion. And uh, with this, I can take photos and adjust the angle of the light very easily so that I can compose my lighting exactly how I want it in real time and freehand. And it's a great solution in some situations. Speaking of diffusers, I have a few favorites. My favorite right now is the Pope Shield, which looks like this. And I have the magnetic version that I can really recommend. You um, first have this uh, ring here that you screw on to your lens. You need to make sure that you buy the Pope Shield for the right filter thread. And by the way, Pope Shield has a pretty bad reputation when it comes to delivery times. Uh, some people claim to have waited for like six months to get their order. I personally have waited around 10 weeks when I've ordered stuff from them. So it is a bit of a lottery there. Uh, don't be surprised if it takes several months for you to get your diffuser. Um, they seem to deliver, at least for me in the end uh, though, and I really think that when you get it, it's a great diffuser for the money. With the magnetic version, once I have uh, set up the ring here, I simply just click on the diffuser like this, and it's great. It gives very beautiful diffusion, very nice results. Only problem with this diffuser is that it is a bit too high, and it kind of sticks into things and they, sometimes it blocks you so you cannot really take the shot. So that is why I have a backup diffuser, which is my good old Dörr diffuser. Uh, it is very cheap and very foldable, so you can easily carry it in your back pocket and then uh, very easily extend it as well. And uh, to use it, you simply just put it over the lens like this and uh, as you can see it will fit pretty much any lens uh, that you can imagine. And it does not give as nice diffusion as the Pope Shield, but it is very convenient and very handy to have as a backup diffuser when the Pope Shield does not work out. I think every serious macro photographer should have some kind of focus stacking solution for indoor deep focus stacks so that you can get very deep depth of field when you need to. And I've tried several sliders and uh, my favorite that I'm using most of the time is an automated one. And it is called the Stack Shot. It is a pretty expensive slider and uh, it's not very user friendly I have to say. The interface on this one is a nightmare to learn. I don't know, they just managed to make it very unintuitive. But it works great and it gives beautiful results every time and it's so nice to have an automated slider because I don't know, I don't have the patience to take each shot individually and then move and, and then uh, it's very hard to consistently get the right distance between the shots. It's very nice to have that done automatically for you. Just set up the shot, leave the room, do something else for a few minutes and then it can take like hundreds of shots for you with exact distances and getting them right. It's so convenient and uh, I love this slider I have to say. Another item I feel I must mention is the Raynox DCR250 which is this small, cute little uh, magnifying glass, basically. And you can put it in front of any telephoto lens, any macro lens and any regular telephoto lens and get more magnification. So for example, if I want to get even closer with my Lao 5 mm I can put it in front of that lens and immediately I get 
a lot more magnification. Uh, I can also put it on a regular like kit lens on any camera and get more magnification that way and turn many telephoto lenses into macro lenses. And it's around $70 and it's a great tool to have in your macro photography bag in case you don't have a macro lens or in case you want more magnification. So what about the nose spray? Well, I discovered that there is one brand of nose spray that they sell here in Sweden, uh, which is special in the sense that you can actually open it up yourself like this and fill it with something else than the, the nose spray liquid. So I'm filling it with water and then I can just have it in my pocket. And whenever I want to add an extra touch to something I'm photographing uh, with a macro lens, I can just spray a little and it will give nice beautiful small water droplets on the subject and it can make a big difference whatever you're photographing no matter if it's a small leaf a flower or maybe an insect or something so that's a tip for you to try uh, i will probably make a separate video about this later haven't done that yet but all the other things i've mentioned in this video have their own separate videos so go check them out in case you want to dive deeper into some of the items Thanks for watching and uh, do subscribe if you like macro photography because that is what my channel is all about. Bye bye.